Okay. Hey, infinite regression. Uh, just so you're aware, I'm going to try and knock out a whole row today just because I can. I can and I feel like it. I feel like it and I'll do it and use this watch. Use this watch. Because it's been a while. Like, honestly, it had been a while since I had uh, done game reviews and I was starting to miss it. And so now I'm going to do a whole bunch so that I get tired of it and don't want to do it anymore. Okay. So, uh, yeah. In the last one, we played this game. Awesome. Okay, let, let's go down the row so far. Like, clearly a good game, but my poor brain not able to handle it. You know, like, I'll tell you, there are times in my life where I only watch um, comedies. And I just cannot do dramas at all because nope, like I, my brain just needs to be happy. And so like, and it's the same reason why I don't do scary movies and whatnot. Like when you have anxiety and stuff, it's like, yeah, let's scary movies. No, no, thank you. Anyway, uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Great. So this one is good, but like I, not for me right now. Crypt of the Necrodancer is awesome. I'm not that great at it. Cthulhu Saves the World. Like, love, love Z-Boyd um, games. They're a great developer. Everything they've ever made, I've just been over the moon about. So, yeah, totally, totally on board. So, Cubium Dreams, no pressure, but, like, do good. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh... I will be honest with you. I actually remember things about this game. So first of all, we're going to put you ra. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I remember things about this game and, mm, yeah, it's, um, it's not a brain suckler. That's <laughs> all I'll tell you about it is that, oh, that's a happy image. Loving it. Loving that happy image. Oh, got some cubes up in this piece. Alright. See what we get. Settings. Uh. Yeah. Ooh, we could turn on the Pockner. Let's do a new game because. Does it have cloud saves? Does it remember? Okay. Uh, yeah. One of my kids wanted me to play a scary game. Th this looks scary. It's scary. It's making noises at me. Where's the epilepsy warning? Because, like, clearly. Ooh, do I need to memorize this real quick? Is this the uh, world in which the game takes place? Oh, look. There I am, Senor Cubeman. All right, you exist. Uh, that's debatable, honestly. Uh, in an infinite number of worlds and their variations, uh, doubtful. Like, how could it possibly be me? Like, even giving given multiverse theory, like it is conceivable that given an infinite number of options that the same type of genetic material from both of my parents would have combined to create someone who looks and sounds like me but whose life choices might be different but are they me are we the same not necessarily not necessarily but perceive only one yeah. Okay. Got it. Weird flying things. Yeah. Loving the Michael Bay soundtrack, by the way. The Michael Bay soundtrack of, like, him just doing regular stuff. You, the observer. Okay. Awesome. Remember this and everything will change. 
Okay, so I'm the observer, and if I remember that, then everything will change. There we go. Got it. Done did it. Cubium dreams. Yeah, that was a very normal intro. Game saved. Good thing you saved my game. I don't want to have to go through the intro every freaking time. Um, okay, so yes, I do remember this game. You, this, ooh. this is a very bright window. For maximum immersion, game is best played with your room lights off and with your headphones on. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, because I'm in a room with other people and uh, I use speakers. Uh, was the change with the mouse, camera sensitivity. Okay, so it's like a game, like a video game. <laughs> uh, escape puzzles seem too complicated. You turn on hints. Okay, so okay, this dead. is a cube. I take it to the window and I go, Rah! <laughs> Wait, nope. I put it up here in the, the cube space. I just thought, so run away until, like, Wait, uh, settings, nope. Okay. I got sniped! Darn it. Okay, um, new cube. We did good, though, we got one. And let's put it on my squarey square cube of a pi or cube of a pillow. Okay, did I get new? Wait, is it? Jeez, Melies, we're close. Okay, thank you. Uh, I am Morbius Muldoon. You will do my bidding. I am the thing. Just kidding. I know it's not Morbius Muldoon. I know it's Hermaeus Mora. I looked it up. Anyway, Hermaeus Mora. I looked it up. I I know it's a thing. Anyway, please. Anyway, let's go through the portal. Can we wait? Why why are we not? Uh. Wait, do we put the dinguses in there? Uh, what? Okay. What? There is third cube. Oh, that was a puzzle. <laughs> doobie, 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 doobie. Okay, I love the thing I love about this one is that I don't know which way is up or down. Oh, and I what? Oh, I'm playing a song. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. When rappers pick up a guitar and be like. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Too far. How dare you. How dare you. Too far. Oh, and now I can't back up. That's just happening. Things are just happening. Okay, so we have to go this one. Oh, 
And we have to take this teddy bear. Give me the teddy bear. Haha. <laughs> it's evil and it's looking at me and now it's scary. And now it goes all blurry for reasons. And here comes the teddy bear and I am terrified. Oh no! I didn't want to spend all five nights at Freddy's. Only one of them. Okay. And it entered my spirit soul. Wait. Now he's looking at me and he's eviling my face. Oh, they're, they're, they're just trying to do that part. That's from, um, everybody knows that is from train spotting. Okay, <laughs> this game is weird. This game is weird. I am Morbius Muldoon. Do you like to play a game? <laughs> oh, let's walk toward the light. Oh, it's on a shelf from my room. Okay. Uh I have to admit that my my patience for this game grows thin because it's not scaring me and it's not keeping my interest. You living in your dream. Am I though? Did this game put me to sleep? Like, you better not have put me to sleep, game. Oh, I don't give a crap what's coming after me now, bro. One day you will wake up. Oh, was that the teddy bear, the, the ginormous sized? Oh. Nice. Oh, did I die just then? Alright, cool. That means I can quit. <laughs> I can quit when I die. Anyway, uh, that game was super great. I loved all the things about it. Especially it's... Definitely not ripping off train spottingness. Anyway, uh, let's put a pause on it and, um, yeah. Okay, and I'm back. I'm back. Man, it took me a little bit of time because I just, I felt I really needed to express myself and how incredibly, um, many feelings I had about this game. <laughs> So, yeah, without further ado, here's the final score. The final score for Cubium Dreams is this 100% real train spotting poster I totally just didn't spend half an hour making. Yeah, it's got all of your favorite train seeing characters. You know, uh, Rasputin, <laughs> this woman whose name is probably Diane. Sick Boy, Spud, Renton, Putin, Renton. We've never seen Putin and Renton on stage together. Pretty sure it's legit. So, yeah. 
This game, totally legit. Definitely, definitely spend money on it. Just kidding. You can't because it's no longer on Steam. Yeah, that's always a good sign when a game is no longer on Steam. Because have you played some of the games on Steam that are still there? Like, that really, really suck? The, there are some of those. They exist. It's true. Anyway. So, yeah. Cubum Dreams. Uh, you can no longer buy it. And I'm sorry that it's so. Because, man, that game is so... It's just... Mmm. Yeah, great. Loved it. Also, I hear this new thing is coming out soon. It's called Sarcasm. You should look into it. Yeah, it's going to be great. That's Sarcasm. Anyway, Cubium Dreams, super game. Buy it with money. Okay, bye.